Ron and Brian here. Brian, you know, uh, we have some great races on California Crown Day, but the $2 pick four is all turf, and that's where I like to go, and I know you put a ticket yep. together, and what a way to start it with race number five. It is the Unzip Me, presented by Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance, and a wide-open affair. It really is, Ron. 15% takeout, too. So this is a great, great bet. I'm going to use eight of them. I really couldn't figure this race out at all. I'm going to hope to have the winner here. I'm going to spread deep. Golden Canary, the 10 horse, comes in the right way off a very convincing win at Woodbine. Yes, we step up here, but she did beat older horses last time. I love the post position. You want to be outside down the hill. She's got the tactical speed. And when you come in off a Woodbine win on that turf course, you're going to have a lot of foundation. I think that's going to play well here. Certainly, Toopy is one of the horses to beat. She's got a big, big chance for Graham Motion. Flavian Pratt is going to ride. A lot of different ways you can go here, as you're going to see in my ticket. I went eight deep, but the top pick is the 10, Golden Canary. Well, Golden Canary, when I handicapped the race, looked like the only really true sprinter mm -hmm. to me in the race. I'm agreeing, I, I went with Tupi, but I, I, I think you uh, might be onto something with I'm glad you went deep. It's a tough race. The next one in the sequen sequence is race number seven. It's one mile and one quarter. It's the California Crown, John Henry Turf. It is a great to event and uh, how'd you go in here? Well, you know, you got Dicey Moshara and Gold Phoenix just ran 1-2 or 2-1, I should say, in the Del Mar Handicap. That was at a mile and three A's and Dicey Moshara just couldn't quite see it out. Got nailed on the line. I like the cutback for him today. I don't think he's going to be on the lead. I don't think he has to be on the lead. There might be some speed to his inside in the one Cabo Spirit. He can sit off of him. Maybe that helps him a little bit more. I think the shorter distance as well is going to play for him certainly I've got to use Gold Phoenix Ron because he just beat my top pick and they ran so well the horse I'm going to put in at what could be a little bit of a decent price he is stepping up he's going to have to prove it that's the three Divin Propos who's perfect he's won his only start on the Santa Anita turf course he's well drawn and he's got some tactical speed too Phil D'Amato's aggressively spotting him here I know you talked about it as well he's got so many runners if he's going to take a shot in him I trust so I'm going to use that horse at a price as well so that's interesting. How deep did you go? In that three race? deep in that three spot in there. The yeah. So eight and three so far. Race number eight is the next in the sequence. It's the California Crown. Eddie D presented by FanDuel. And uh, uh, another race that's just so interesting and a couple of ways to go in here. Yeah, there's three real stone cold closers in here. The one Johnny Padres, the seven Iman, the 11 Big Invasion. Big Invasion doesn't have to drop completely out of it. I like his post. I don't trust him, though. He finally got a win at Saratoga last time. He never wins. Flavian. Pratt's going to get aboard. I think that's a big, big deal. Iman, our old buddy, Ron, we know him so, so well. I love that Joe Arsino took him out there. Is he good enough? He probably isn't, to be perfectly honest with you. But, Ron, you look at his form, five, five and a half on the turf. He's never run this far. I think it's interesting for him. Certainly, Johnny Padre is kind of the house horse. Mm -hmm. But let's get to the top pick now, and that's first piece, the two horse. He's going to have to work out a trip. It's not an ideal post position. But what does he have on all the three runners? that I just mentioned, a world of tactical speed. Mike Smith will have to figure it out. He's won down the hill before. I'm going to put him on top. It's a fascinating renewal of the Eddie D. Yeah, that horse that you put on top is 9 for 10 yep. in the money on the, on the Santa Anita turf course and that r runs well at the distance. So our next race is the race number 10. It's the one mile on the turf. It's the City of Hope mile presented by my racehorse. You heard my stuff a little yeah. earlier. Johannes, to me, is the old single dingle. Yeah, I can't, I can't play against him. He's the anchor. He's going to be the anchor on basically lots of tickets in all these great, great horizontal bets that we have that are ending in the finale in race number 10. You just look at him, Ron. He's 5-for-5 five five over the Santa Anita Turf Course. He's perfect in three starts at a mile. He can be on the lead. If they want to go crazy, he can come from off of it. He just showed he can win at 9 furlongs too. I know it's a tightener for the Breeders' Cup mile. I get all of that, but sometimes at the end of the day, horses are just better than other horses. I think that's him. And the other thing that I, I – I like even more for him is that the quartet that comes out of the Del Mar Mile, the grade two, they all basically hit the line together. And I don't like that in yeah. the terms of how good the race was. And Johannes, he's already drubbed the, the majority of them anyway. Yeah. So you're single? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So that's the all stakes turf pick for a $2 wager, 15% takeout. Boy, what a great day it's going to be.